All right, guys, welcome to a, another Drive Tribe snippet video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so uh, it's nice to jump back into the swing of things. So before we get into it, you should definitely be going and checking out TXGarage.com. We've got a lot of great articles here from a lot of great contributors. As you can see, we get the, the videos that I do for the full review channel. Um, but we also have a lot of great articles from different contributors here. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which is just a weekly uh, email blast that uh, shares everything that we published for the week. So definitely go check out TX Garage. Dot com, but if you don't want to go check it out every day, you can sign up for the weekly newsletter and uh, stay informed with what's going on there. So with that, let's jump into Drive Tribe itself. And uh, again, if you're um, not a part of Drive Tribe and you are an automotive enthusiast, you should probably consider um, jumping over and signing up with Drive Tribe. It's a great community. You can uh, become an author there and publish like I do. Um, or you can just be a contributor and uh, post comments and stuff like that. But um, you can check out my profile. This is where I post a lot of my videos as well. But what I'm going to do in this video is take a look at a couple of these other articles that I find quite interesting here on Drive Tribe. And this one right here really caught my interest um, is a Corvette C5 Doom Buggy is the perfect summer off-roader. Um, this is by Bickernell. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names and everything, but uh, uh, I just thought this thing was amazing. And a long time ago on Craigslist, I saw a C5 Corvette um, that was wrecked and basically had the front, uh, all the whole entire front pulled off, but the engine's still in it, and uh, it looked amazing. So I think... I had an idea of doing something similar to this a long time ago after seeing that. Um, but yeah, this article is just talking about um, with summer coming up, uh, which we're kind of into now. It's a little bit older of an article, but uh, the scene five doom buggy and it was for sale. Um, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys these images and this idea and get your thoughts down below on what you thought about this thing. So it was over on um, Bring a Trailer, which is another great website for car enthusiasts. And this is going to show you much of the same uh, images and stuff that was pulled over to the Drive Tribe article. But this is where they were actually selling it. And did it sell? And for how much? No notifications, thank you. <clears throat> so the winning bid was $24,000, which is probably uh, a pretty good price for what you're getting here. Again, the interior is not going to be much. It's the Corvette interior. Um, the engine is the 5.7 liter, uh, but just the that looks that you get and with the open air driving in a corvette i think that's i think that's pretty pretty awesome uh would you rock this buggy yes most definitely yes um any interesting comments probably not of course you get this is that a uh a lexus oh wow mm, no thank you all right, so I also wanted to show you guys this article here. And this is the Hyundai pickup truck spotted in its bare sheet metal. Um, this is something that I've been excited for for a while, is this Hyundai pickup truck. Uh, it's basically a... Um, or is it the Santa Fe or the Tucson? Yeah, but with a truck bed. So it's the unibody truck, um, which I'm okay with. I wouldn't use this thing as a truck truck 
necessarily, but I think it looks really cool and I'm super glad that they're doing it. So here's the uh, picture of the, the rendered picture of what the concept looked like. And again, I just think that's pretty cool. It's uh, kind of closer to the Honda Ridge line than it is, you know, a Ford F-150 or a Ford Ranger. But again, for um, a company like Hyundai, I think that's just fine. I really enjoy um, these kind of things. And uh, I think this is something perfect for maybe a young kid getting his first vehicle um, kind of thing where you're, uh, he wants a truck. Uh, <laughs> my son really likes the older Nissan Frontiers and um, even the new ones. And I think something like this would uh, give that some good competition if it was priced right. So um, what do you think of the Santa Fe pickup? Bury it in the desert. I'm thinking mine, I'm taking mine on a road trip. Uh, not good, not terrible. Go by the ridge line instead. So, and uh, pickup expert here. <laughs> yeah, again, I just think that uh, I like seeing companies make new stuff, innovative stuff, different stuff, and uh, seeing Hyundai make something like this is interesting and different, and I quite like it. So uh, those are a couple of older posts that I had saved on Drive Tribe to uh, share with you guys. Um, you can come check out my profile and see all of my videos here and a couple of other things that I share, including stuff from Jesus Garcia, which also contributes over at cxgarage.com. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to try to uh, get more of these out for you guys going over some articles on Drive Tribe, probably diving deeper into one specific article or one specific review on Drive Tribe. I've done some other ones. I'll link a playlist um, at the end screen or something if you're interested in checking out the rest of my Drive Tribe snippet videos. Um, I also want to get more into the news side again. This is this channel is called uh, TX Garage Newswire because it was supposed to be the news channel. And I've basically been doing a lot of just the quick drive videos, which I love doing. And uh, I'd love to get you guys' input on those um, as I post them. But I also want to do a lot more of stuff like this and uh, news articles um, just to help share out some news and my thoughts on those. So if you're really interested in that and you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys.